Hi, this is the second in a series of videos on the International Space Station. The first video I took in September, uh, recording a full pass of the ISS repeater. Unfortunately, since then, the repeater has been off the air. It's now early December 2020. The repeater is just back on the air. So this is my first chance to uh, transmit via the repeater and make my first satellite QSO. Hope you enjoy the video. CQ Sat Golf Zero Charlie November November. Echo India Seven Golf Yankee Golf Zero Charlie November November. Roger, you're five nine in India, Oscar nine four Golf Mike. Roger. So to set the nine nine one up for split frequency repeater operation, we need to set up the receive side first. So if we find the uh, ISS uh, receive frequency, which is four three seven. 800 and then we need to um, enter the repeater settings so press the F button uh, we need to set the tone to 67 Hertz tone DCS to ENC uh, and repeater simplex so repeater simplex tone ENC sorry um, tone DCS ENC and tone uh, to 67 Hertz now if we press the A to M button that brings up our memories uh, and if you go down these are just repeaters I've got set up so find a free uh, memory channel so I'm going to go down to 20 and then if I press and hold you'll hear a double beep if I press and hold A to M so that puts it into memory that's now into uh, memory for receive so now we need to set up the transmit frequency which is on the 2 meter band uh, we've currently set up the receive on the 77s band so if we go to two meters and we want the transmit frequency which is 145990 um, so 145990 now if we press a and m there's our receive frequency if we press a and m and hold and press the ptt on the mic double bleep so i press the ptt on the mic at the same time as i was pressing a and m hold uh, and now we've programmed if i come out of that we've programmed the receive and transmit into the uh rigs memory so if we go to vm to bring up the memory from vf4 and there we can see if I, if I change these frequencies back and forward there's a repeater on memory one and memory 20 which we haven't labeled yet has got a receive frequency of four three seven eight hundred and a transmit frequency you can see there split frequency settings of one four five nine ninety now we can label uh, that uh, memory channel and i'm sure we've done all this before but once you've set up your repeaters uh, it's easy to forget all of this um, and we can label that uh, as the ISS, which we'll do next. So to label the memory, you, this time you press and hold the F button. Double bleep. And there we are on the channels. We can move around. Channel 20 we set up. And these buttons are now active. So we can tag. If I move that down, channel 20, tag that. And give it a name. Uh, so we call it ISS space center frq and press enter and now we've labeled that channel as iss center frequency and if we come out back so just in the way we recall stored repeater memories 
So in the normal VF operation, uh, VM, it brings back the memories. Here's our memories again. Memory one, if I go down with the multi knob, which I've set to memory channel, um, if I put that on there, you can see memory channel is, a, is an option, which is what that's set at, at the moment. So if I go down from memory one to memory 20, there you can see our ISS center frequency. Uh, JUP means split frequency transmission. Uh, and there's the two meter transmit frequency. Now I can move the VFO to allow for the Doppler shift um, because we're going to be tracking from 810 down to about 790. Um, and even though that changes, the transmit frequency stays the same. So you'll see if I move this up, uh, the transmit frequency is gone. Uh, but rest assured uh, that is still transmitting uh, on the set frequency on two meters. And in this way we can track the Doppler. Some people have programmed in memory um, lots of different variations from 810, say 85, 800, 95 uh, and so on. And you would click the memory knob uh, to change the receive frequencies. So we could program lots of uh, receive frequencies with the same transmit frequency in the memories. But all I do uh, is just move the VFO around. It's, it's simple as that. You're only scanning from 810 to 790 or thereabouts. Um, and if I just press VM, that will bring us back to the start again. So normally tracking about there and then come down to there. So I suppose in another example, you could set that as 810 because that's where you're always going to start. Uh, but I've just set it at the centre frequency. Another useful uh, tip, if you go into the menu, 116 is the width of the uh, waterfall display. I've got it set to 50 instead of the default 100 um, and it just gives you a more detailed uh, view of the FM signal as it moves with the Doppler shift. So now I'm just getting ready for what is the fourth pass on this Sunday afternoon. The uh, early recording was the third pass which was my first contact uh, via the ISSS repeater. So here we are, we can see it coming in over the Atlantic towards the UK and another uh, tip is to open up the squelch um, so you can actually hear uh, the transmissions it's easier to track uh, the frequency with the VFO uh, while you're listening to the noise rather than just having the squelch cut in and out so squelch open and we should see a signal somewhere around here in a minute Sat Golf Zero, Charlie November, November. G0, Charlie November, November. This is EI6FM. Do you copy? EI6FM, you're 59 in India Oscar 94 Golf Mike, Roger. Roger, Roger, all copied, 73. CQ Sat Golf Zero Charlie November November CQ Sat Golf Zero Charlie November November Golf Zero Charlie November November Echo Alpha One Golf Alpha Romeo Echo Alpha One Golf Alpha Romeo You're five nine in India Oscar nine four Golf Mike Roger. Roger, Roger, all copied, 73. CQSAT, Golf Zero, Charlie, November, November. Oscar Kilo One, X-Ray, X-Ray Zulu. Oscar Kilo One, X-Ray, X-Ray Zulu, Golf Zero, Charlie, November, November.
As you can see, you can work the ISS repeater with standard equipment and hopefully that'll spur you on to look at other satellites and perhaps make satellite-specific Yagis and so on. If you enjoy the channel, please consider subscribing and hit the bell so you're notified of new videos. Hope you enjoyed this video.